The Hillsboro Indians and the McLean Tigers each suffered big losses Friday night to Clinton Massey and London, respectively. At McLean Field, the London Red Raiders scored on the first play of the night and didn't let up until the final minute, handing the Tigers their first loss of the season, 55-0. Friday night's matchup was each team's South Central Ohio League opener. Tiger head coach Randy Clawson said that his team was just outplayed. I just speed, overall speed, team speed. They're, they were faster than us at just about every aspect of the game. You know, their offensive line, defense line, uh, linebackers, quarterbacks, and running backs. You know, they just outspeeded, outhustled, outworked us. We talked, we talked all year that we can't take anybody for granted, um, that every team on our schedule is capable of, of putting together a good game and, and, uh, and, and winning and beating us. And um, this is proof. You know, this is proof that that's, that's the case. You know, London's a good football team. They've played a tough schedule. You know, to, uh, I don't think our kids fully realized how good a schedule they've played up to this point. But uh, we, we certainly weren't ready. And it's, it is tough for us to, you know, we've got more depth and we were able to do some things this year than we, we've had in the past. But you, you can't duplicate that kind of team speed. London's head coach Bill Dennis said that McLean is a great team. I think they came out. Our kids, you know, we, we didn't play well last week. We were real frustrated. Played a very good West Jefferson team. But uh, I was real proud of the kids, how they responded. We challenged them in the locker room and in practice all, all week. We went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We had tough practice, and, and we said we got to get better. And the kids executed very well tonight. Uh, I think we got to give credit up front. Our offensive line ex executed very well tonight and allowed our skill kids. Everybody knows you know, we have good speed. There's no doubt about that. But it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the kids up front. So I think our, our offense and defensive lines played very well tonight. Coming here, playing, a, they're good. They're a good Greenfield McLean team. Uh, we just jumped out early and executed very well tonight. But uh, they're a good team. You got to give them credit too. They're they were well prepared and and um, they came off a of three big. They're three and zero oh and and uh, they're a good football team. Our, our kids executed very well tonight. Regarding two onside kicks and play by the Red Raiders, Dennis said they were unintentional. Neither one of them are intentional. It was we do a thing called squib kick, and that's, that's the kid. thing that just frustrates me to death. I mean, that, our kids don't do that, but yet when you, when that happens, it looks like we, we we coach that way and we play that way, and we don't. It's supposed to hit and skip. Don't give them a chance to return it, and that's not, that's not how we coach. And that's not how we play. McLean is now three to one overall and zero for one in the SEOL. London is two and two overall and one for zero in the SEOL. McLean will face Madison Plains at home next Friday during their homecoming game. The Hillsboro Indians fell to the Clinton Massey Falcons on the road 63-7. The Indians scored first and held an early 7-0 lead, but the Falcons tied the South Central Ohio League game at 7-all on a 75-yard pass play near the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, Massey scored 21 unanswered points for a 28-7 lead en route to the Falcons' 63-7 victory. Next Friday, Hillsborough will face the Washington Courthouse Blue Lions at Washington Courthouse.